In this video, I'm going to explain to you what a bus is in Adobe Audition, how simple it is to set up and why you would need to use one. Hi, it's David here from Talking Tech and Audio. In this video, we are talking all about audio buses, why you should be using them and how simple they are to set up. We'll be getting into that in just a moment. But first to say, if you haven't yet left me your contact details so you can become part of the members mailing list, why don't you do that? I send out a members newsletter every weekend. And if you leave me your details at talkingtechandaudio.com, I'll make sure you're part of that next newsletter. And also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't turned on all notifications, do it right now so you never miss another one of these videos. And now it's time to get inside Adobe Audition. One of the best things about Adobe Audition is the way that it tries to save you time in your audio workflow and adding a bus will certainly do that and I'm going to show you how simple it is to do and why we'd want to do it. First of all, I love to have a clean workstation so what you may want to do here before you do anything is just delete empty tracks that you're not using, this track 2, track 3. To do that you simply go into tracks which is a right click and then you simply go into delete empty tracks. That will clean up our workflow for us. Now we're going to add in a bus. You simply right click tracks and we're not going to add mono or stereo tracks. No, we're going to add a bus because we're working just in voice here. We'll add a mono bus, but obviously if you were working in music, you could just as easily add a stereo bus too. So we'll add a mono bus and why don't we rename it as well? And to do that, you simply click in the box there and we'll call this a vocal bus. So we have got our bus ready here, but of course nothing's happening at the moment. If I play back some audio, when you're young, you'll see nothing was on the meter there. So we need to address that. And it's so simple. Rather than sending these tracks to the master that you can see they're at at the moment, we are going to send them to the vocal bus. So you press this right hand arrow here and we're going to send it bus, vocal bus, bus, vocal bus. Now you'll watch when I play any of these, these tracks. Are, when you're young, we have got the meter showing on our Day, bus here. All three tracks are now being yeah, sent there. And in turn, that bus is being sent to the master. So the benefit of doing this, we have now got our bus ready. If we click on the bus track, we are now in the vocal bus effects area. We could put into this effects rack, say we could put in some de-essing and we could put in some compression. And we could put in a little bit of parametric EQ as well. And the beauty of doing this is whatever settings we make here, we've only done once. We haven't had to repeat doing this on all three tracks. We haven't had to go in and put a DS on track one, on track two, on track three. We've done it just once on our vocal bus. And now, because all of these are being routed normally, through, the, the, anything we apply on this bus will affect all three tracks that we've got here. That is the benefit of doing it. It's a big time saver. You're just simply grouping things together is the simplest way of thinking of a bus. You're putting all the effects on one track, sending all of those tracks through to that bus. And you can have as many buses as you want on a session. You do need to be in the multi-track view. You can't do the you can't add a bus in waveform because obviously you're working with one singular track there but in the multi-track editor you can add your bus in, put as many effects as you want in there. This track in turn goes out to the master which of course goes out to our default sound card that we've got loaded into whatever mac you're working on and that is how simple it is to add a bus in adobe audition make sure to let me know how you're going to use buses in your audio projects they're so simple to set up as you see a real real big time saver particularly on your bigger and larger sessions. If you found this video interesting, please give me a like and also turn on all notifications to make sure that you never miss another one of our Adobe Tuesday tutorials. And if you've got a few spare moments at the end of this video, I'll be leaving a link where you can learn how to set up audio side chaining. Thanks for joining me this week and I'll see you again on the next one.